So I recently switched to a new meal prep method and it's completely changing my life. The gist of it is rather than prepare five of the same meals to eat every day of the week, I do a limited one hour meal prep. The goal of this meal prep is not to have fully cooked meals that I can just reheat in the microwave during the week. Because honestly, prepping five lunches and five dinners on one day takes too much time. I don't like eating the same dinner over and over, and I really don't like the taste of four day old food. Instead, I focus on taking the most impactful meal prep steps so that my weeknight cooking will be easier and quicker. Typically what that means is I will fully prepare some building blocks, things like sauces, dressings, and condiments that will stay fresh all week long and only partially prepare other components, things like grains, veggies, and proteins. The downside of this method for some of you is that you do have to do some cooking during the week, but the upside for the rest of us, I think is so much greater. The main advantages are you get to eat a bunch of different delicious meals with lots of variety during the week instead of eating the same meal over and over. And every meal tastes fresh, unlike your standard meal prep, which let's be real, gets pretty old after day two. Best of all, by spending just just one hour on meal prep, I get to spend the rest of my Sunday doing fun stuff, like hanging out with my family and friends, traveling, or just relaxing. As you'll see later in the video, this method can also save you four to five hours of cooking during the week. But for now, let me show you how I meal prep. For this week's meal prep, we'll begin with the fully prepped components, all of which are gonna stay good in the fridge for at least seven days, so we don't need to worry about them tasting worse later in the week. The first thing I'm gonna make is the creamy herb sauce, dressing of sorts. I'm starting with three quarters cup of raw cashews and I'm just gonna soak them in boiling water while I prep everything else for the sauce. We want about two cups or 30-ish grams of fresh herbs. And I'm kind of just eyeballing the ratios of the herbs. It really doesn't matter as long as you like the specific herbs you're using, it's gonna be delicious. I'm also gonna add a generous amount of lemon juice, probably four tablespoons. That's a juicy girl. A jalapeno and garlic. A little bit of water to help everything blend. Nutritional yeast, this is gonna add that nice savory, cheesy flavor. Season it with salt and pepper. A tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil. Last thing is the cashews, so I will go drain them and I'll be back. And by the way, don't feel like you need to take notes on measurements if you are trying to do that, because there is a free PDF guide that has the measurements for every recipe we're gonna make today. Let's blend her up. Ooh, delicious. The next condiment I'm prepping is a mix of quick pickled onions and chili peppers. We have one medium red onion and we're gonna slice it pretty much as thinly as we can. I'm also gonna add some chili peppers to my onions because I like things spicy. Our pickling brine is super simple. You're gonna start with one cup of water then you're gonna grab an industrial size vat of vinegar or just a regular sized bottle. Nice big spoonful of kosher salt to season all of those vegetables. And pickled vegetables are a little bit sweet, just a tiny bit, and so I'm adding maple syrup, organic cane sugar, totally fine. Just bring this to a boil, and that's it. All right, carefully pour your hot brine over all the good stuff. Oh, okay, party fell. Much safer. You wanna make sure you have enough brine to cover the vegetables. These will be at their best 48 hours after sitting in the fridge, but if you are in a hurry, you can eat them as soon as within eight hours. The next thing we're gonna make is our crunchy seedy nut mix. I am using a mix of pine nuts. Pine nuts are very expensive, so I'm only using a small amount. I'm going to cut them with pepitas, which are a lot cheaper and also high in protein. You sound like a heroin dealer I'm gonna cut them with. I literally know nothing about heroin. Like I don't even know how you consume it. So clearly not a drug dealer. And sesame seeds. Quick little spice blend before we start cooking everything. Teaspoon of paprika, half teaspoon onion powder, half teaspoon red pepper flakes or any chili flake you like. And a heaping half teaspoon of flaky sea salt. Line a plate with parchment paper. You'll see why in a minute. We're gonna add a little bit of olive oil to a frying pan, medium heat. Once the oil is warm, go ahead and add your seed blend. We'll toast this for three, four minutes. Once you see some of the seeds start to turn golden, you wanna stir more frequently so they don't burn. It is time to add the spice blend. And that's why we added the oil earlier because if you didn't add the oil, the spices wouldn't be able to adhere to the nuts and seeds. And these just need 30, 40 seconds. 
60 seconds at the most. Spread it out and let it cool down. Parchment paper is great because if there's any excess oil, it's going to absorb onto the paper. And it's also gonna make it really easy to transfer this mix into a jar. This is so good. Kind of reminds me of eating popcorn. I would like to eat all of it right now. So I'm going to transfer into a jar. And the final condiment we're gonna make is a very, very simple lemon dressing. This is about three tablespoons of freshly squeezed a lemon juice. <coughs> I have a sesame seed in my throat from earlier. Tiny bit of maple syrup to cut through some of the acidity. Some red pepper flakes. A couple tablespoons of sesame seeds. Sea salt. Pepper. Extra virgin olive oil. And a fat garlic clove. We're gonna just grate it right in there for some nice flavor. All right, so we're done with our condiment prep. As I mentioned, all of those components are gonna stay fresh in the fridge or pantry for a week, probably longer. Now we're gonna move on to the rest of the components. I don't want to fully meal prep these today because they won't stay fresh for that long, but I am gonna take a few mini prep steps and that's gonna make my life a lot easier when it comes time to prepare meals during the week. I've got some farro here. That's gonna be my whole grain for the week. Get that on the stove. Once it comes to a boil, we'll start cooking the farro. Today I'm gonna to cook the farro super simply just water, salt, a bay leaf, and black pepper. While the fire cooks, I will work on everything else. Every meal prep needs some sort of vegetable, and I have red cabbage and carrots today. Once you prep them, they're not gonna wilt in your fridge in like a day or two, and they're both super budget friendly, which is obviously wonderful. So let's cut our cabbage in half, and then we'll grate it. These are organic carrots that I have scrubbed, so I'm not gonna bother peeling them. And right, look at this vibrant, colorful mix we've got here. Now for our protein, I've got two different ones. The first one is tofu. I've got two blocks of extra firm tofu. I'll probably bake this during the week, maybe pan fry it, get it nice and crispy. But today I'm just gonna take a couple of mini prep steps. So we'll drain the tofu, we'll press it for 10, 15 minutes, and then we'll cut it into cubes and store that in the fridge. And these might seem like small, perhaps inconsequential prep steps, but I promise they make a difference. The next protein we're gonna prep are some canned cannellini beans. My favorite way to prepare these is to roast them in the oven with some olive oil, salt, and pepper, they get crispy and so good. The problem, however, is that if I roast them today, they're just not gonna be as amazing on, let's say, day three. And so I'm just gonna take a couple of mini prep steps today, and that's gonna make it a lot easier to cook them on, let's say, Tuesday or Wednesday. Oh, perfect timing, our farro should be done. You want the farro to be al dente, it should have a little bit of a bite to it still, and once that's ready, you'll drain it. And the key to making sure that your whole grains are nice and dry and they don't get soggy or clumpy is to spread them out on a sheet pan, let them dry out like this, and then you can store them in the fridge. All right, that is the end of our meal prep. I am going to put everything in the fridge and then go enjoy the rest of my Sunday. That's the beauty of doing a quick meal prep. And starting tomorrow, I will show you how I combine all of these fabulous components into even more fabulous meals. For our first meal of the week, we're gonna make a delicious easy pasta salad with crispy beans using a few of the components we prepped earlier. If we hadn't done our meal prep yesterday, this meal would take about an hour to make, but today it's gonna take less than 30 minutes and I'm gonna start off by roasting the beans. I'm just going to put them on a sheet pan Toss them with some olive oil, salt, and pepper. You can add a couple extra seasonings, flavorings if you like. I've got some oregano and nutritional yeast today for that subtle, cheesy, savory flavor. And these are gonna get really delicious and crispy in the oven. These can bake undisturbed in the oven for 20 minutes. So in the meantime, I'm gonna start on our pasta. So I've got some pasta here. This is actually enough for two meals. I'm gonna have this for lunch tomorrow as well. And it's gonna be pretty good the next day. It's not waiting too long to eat my leftovers. So this is a much, much better alternative. I wanna add some veggies to this pasta and I got some lovely broccolini at the farmer's market the other day. So I'm gonna add that to the pasta when there's a few minutes left. Couple other things to prep. I'm gonna slice some cherry tomatoes for our pasta and chop up some fresh basil and parsley that I have left over from that green sauce we made. The nice thing about this meal is that while the beans roast in the oven, I can do everything else, cook the pasta, drain the pasta, cut the broccolini, cut the herbs. So it feels very streamlined and easy. I'm gonna add the broccolini directly to the pasta. Just kind of blanch it. The beans need just a few more minutes, so I thought I would make a salad in the meantime because 
it's good for you. Got some frisee and mustard greens, and I'll just use that lemon dressing we made yesterday. Pinch of flaky salt, some of our CD mix, and this is what I call a 30 second salad. You can see the beans look really different than before. They are like split open and crunchy, and now it's just time to assemble our pasta salad. Let's add some of our creamy herb sauce as our dressing. Let's scoop up some beans and our herbs and tomatoes. Let's give it a taste. That's really good, like better than I thought it was gonna be. It feels very gourmet, especially for how little active cooking it required. Also got my leafy greens to go with it on the side and this is gonna make a great leftover lunch tomorrow. Tuesday's dinner is a loaded lavash wrap. Unlike our last meal, this one requires no cooking whatsoever. So it will be ready in less than five minutes, which is lovely. I'm gonna be using several of the components from our meal prep. We'll start with our creamy herb sauce and add some of this carrot and cabbage mix. And the lemon dressing from the meal prep goes great with this slaw, so we'll add a little bit in there. Third component we're gonna add are the crispy white beans. Our pickled onions and chili peppers. These have been in the fridge now for about 48 hours. Look how pretty it is, look at these colors. We got green, purple, orange, pink, red. It's called rainbow plant line for a reason. Will it fold or did I, did I overstuff it? She thick. All right, let's take a bite. That is a party for the taste buds. A plus, 10 out of 10. I think I'm gonna make it for lunch tomorrow. It's day three and usually things go downhill by this point in a typical meal prep, but we are making a fantastic fresh grain bowl that you will absolutely love. And since we are using almost all of our meal prep components, we are saving a ton of time. I'm gonna start with the tofu. If you remember from the meal prep, I pressed two blocks of extra firm tofu and I cut them into these cute little cubes and we're gonna bake it. It's gonna be two minutes of prep work. And I'm purposely keeping the tofu pretty plain in flavor because I want it to be versatile. I want to be able to use it in tomorrow's meal. And also with all the other flavors in this grain bowl, you're really not going to mind. Now for the secret crispy, crunchy coating, I'm using potato starch. Let's get the microphone in here so we can hear some of the sound. Ah. And the nice thing about baking tofu as opposed to say frying it is that it's pretty hands off. You just need to flip the tofu once. So in the meantime, we will work on everything else for our grain bowl. Here I have some of the farro. If you remember, I cooked this really simply on the stove with just salt and pepper and a bay leaf. And this has been sitting at room temperature for like 30 minutes and I'll save the rest of the farro for tomorrow's lunch. Let's get our carrots and cabbage out. We're going to add quite a bit of flavor with our lemon sesame dressing. And if I had dressed this on Sunday, definitely would be soggy by now and not as fresh. So doing this now is one of those big steps you can take to make your food taste fresher. Something I like to do with my grain salads is add fresh herbs because they're delicious, they're vibrant, they add freshness. And again, if I had done this on Sunday, the herbs would be wilted, they wouldn't have as much flavor. So I have some fresh basil and some mint. This already smells great and would be like a lovely side dish, but we're gonna turn it into a full meal. So a couple other things I want to add. I happen to have some olives that I need to use. Green olives, the Castel Vitrano olive, which I have already waxed poetic about. Best olive in my opinion. One more fun mix in, dried apricots for a little sweet chewiness. Look at these colors. The salad has a lot of great chewiness from the farro and the apricots. I want something a little crunchy now and look what we have. We have our crunchy CD mix. All right, the tofu still has about 20 minutes. So I'm gonna take that time to clean up, maybe have a glass of wine before dinner and I'll check in with you after that. Tofu is done. It is looking really nice. While you were away, I very artfully flipped the tofu at the halfway mark. And I actually did not pour myself a glass of wine because I realized it's actually 3 p.m. right now. I'm filming early so you can see everything. So instead I poured myself a little spindrift, which is maybe not as good as wine, but still very nice. And now we're just ready to assemble our grain bowl. One finishing touch, the pickled onions and chilies for that tang and that heat. I honestly wish it were dinner time because I'm going to destroy this bowl. It looks amazing. There are so many fun flavors in here. It tastes so fresh too. Like every component tastes as if it were made today. It took 30 minutes total with just like 10 minutes of active cooking. That is the beauty of this meal prep. You get a really fresh tasting meal without that much work. 
I am ready for some new flavors today, so we're flipping the script and making a tofu noodle bowl. We're using just a couple of the meal prep components, but we're still saving a lot of time. This meal should take just 10 minutes to throw together. The water is heating up for my noodles, and in the meantime, we'll make the sauce. This is soy sauce, Chinese black vinegar. It's funky, it's savory, it's tangy, it's slightly sweet, it's delicious. Toasted sesame oil, and tahini is not perhaps traditional in East Asian food, but I love the sesame flavor and it's gonna add this nice body to the sauce. A little heat, got Szechuan chili flakes and just a little bit of maple syrup to kind of enhance the salty savory flavors. The water's at a boil, so I'm gonna add the noodles and these need just four minutes. While the noodles are cooking, we'll do the vegetables. I have some carrot cabbage slaw left, pinch of salt, and I have a red bell pepper in the fridge, so I'm gonna slice that up and add that to the noodles. A couple leftover scallions, I think those will be nice in this as well. And the second component from the meal prep that I'm using today is the baked tofu I made yesterday. Noodles are almost done. I'm gonna rinse them under cool water just to bring them to room temperature, and we'll combine everything afterwards. Time to get saucy. Pour the sauce over the noodles. Add in our cabbage and carrots. Give everything a toss. Some roasted sesame seeds for a nice nutty finish. I'm honestly shocked that just one hour of meal prep led to so many delicious, flavorful meals with very little work. If you want more meal prep content, be sure to check out this playlist right here or the PDF guide with all of the recipes. It's linked in the description box below. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.